Holy cow, guys. It has been a week. Oh, look at me, I look awful still. Look how dark my eyes are. I've been sick all week, but I figured I'd come on and vlog and see if anybody else is having like a similar issue to me. Hi. We're almost done with dinner, right? Say hi. You ready to get down? No. Yes? Are you done with your pizza? No. Kaylee had blueberries, applesauce, pizza, and hot dogs for dinner. Maddie's just kind of squishing blueberries. <laughs> anyway, I've been having some issues with the internet. So right now, since we've been just kind of sitting around, I'll show you guys what I did later. I did like a big cleaning thing. And yeah, these are clothes of Maddie. They took her, we've got like a Montessori style thing going on in there, in her room. And um, they like took apart her storage bins and pulled them out here and everything this morning. Yeah, thank you for the blankie. Anyway, those of you that have like Twitter or Instagram, Instagram hasn't been as bad. Facebook has been like, I don't even want to open up my Facebook app. I have, like, my demographic of my Facebook is, like, some of the kids that I um, coached and then, like, adults, like, my age and up. Um, <clears throat> and so, like, my demographic is kind of, like, all over the place with Facebook. But there's a very big trend going on right now, and I, like, hate opening up my Facebook because there is all these laws about abortion going on right now. And I'm not gonna say where I stand on that topic. Those, those people who know me know where I stand on that topic. But regardless of like whatever side you're on, I literally can't look at my Facebook feed because everything has to do with all of these abortion laws. And I get that we're like trying to make like a stand or whatever. And, like, people are trying to get their points across one way or another. There's people that are super pro-choice and they're, like, blowing up my feed. And then there's people that are pro-life and they're blowing up my feed. And then there's people in the middle that are, like, trying to twist it into, like, well, how come you can force somebody to have a baby, but you can't for force them to vaccinate their child? And then we've got, like, all these people that are arguing about vaccinations. And it's, like, I feel like I can't, like, I feel like every time I get on my Facebook right now, it's just, like, some giant political mess. And I just don't feel like looking at my Facebook. And then if it's not that, since I do have, like, some younger people on my channel or on my Facebook, if it's not something to do with the political aspects, all I'm seeing is this James Charles drama going on everywhere. And I'm um, not gonna lie, I've gone to his channel a couple times to like watch his sub count to see if it's like going up or down. Um, and I've gone to her channel a couple times, you know, just to kind of like see what's going on. But like, oh my gosh, I've got people that like, are saying things like they want to sue him or that James Charles is suing them for whatever reason, <clears throat> which isn't true. Or like everybody should get their money back for going on his tour and all this stuff. And so like now I've got, well, it's just this drama of James Charles stuff and political stuff. And that's like all I can see when I'm online right now. Does anybody else have that issue or is it just me? Because I don't know. I feel like everybody else is probably having that issue too. But it's just super, super frustrating because I don't want to go on all of these sites for the political nonsense and the YouTube drama of all of it. I want to go on and see what my friends are doing. I've got other friends who are having babies. I have family that lives far away. Right now my grandparents are in Italy and they're posting things. I'm like, I want to go on and see the nice stuff. I don't want to go on there and see all of that. Woke up this morning to see Grumpy Cat died. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I didn't follow Grumpy Cat, but like, it's like all these different drama things, like in the middle, Grumpy Cat passed away and then all these like drama things. And it's like, I can't enjoy looking at anything online right now because it's just so bad. 
maybe I'm going nowhere with this and maybe it's just a stupid rant, but I don't know. Like I've just seen a lot of that stuff. And even in my like recommended feed, I'm getting stuff about it. And like, I don't watch things. I'm not like a makeup guru or anything like that. Anyway, as of now, maybe someday I will be, I don't know. I mean, I'm wearing nothing right now and I'm sick, so I look horrible. But like, I don't follow the makeup industry on YouTube. I don't follow the political industry on YouTube, but it's like even my YouTube feed right now, like all I wanna do is see some of my friends that are on YouTube, which by the way, I'll leave their description or their links in the description box because I've got a lot of awesome YouTube friends. I wanna see my awesome YouTube friends videos pop up on my suggested and on my feed. And it's just like, James Charles did that, which now this is probably popping up on people's feeds if I label it with James Charles' names on, name on it. Um, but this and that, and like, I'm getting like all these scandal videos that are showing up and all the stuff. And it's like, I haven't even watched videos on it. I haven't watched, I don't follow James Charles. I don't follow any of them, Jeffree Star or like Shane Dawson, like all of these people that are like connected together or were connected together at one point, I don't know. Like, that whole industry of people, like, that's not my group of people. I am watching mom videos, and I'm watching educational videos, and Montessori videos, and DIY, and cleaning, and decorating. Like, that, that's what I'm watching. I don't wanna go online and just see all of this other nonsense. So anyway. Is it, just, is it just a me thing, or is that like an everybody thing? Is everybody having that issue? Am I alone? Should I try to get a refund for my James Charles tickets that I didn't buy? Does anybody even know? How much did it cost to go to his tour? Because there's a lot of people saying they want refunds for his tour. I've, it's popped up like so many times of people who want refunds. Does anybody... like? How much did it cost to go to his tour? And, I mean, I heard it was bad. But how many people, like, what did you pay to go to the tour? I'll have to look it up. I don't know. Anyway, that's my rant. It's really random. And I know that's not usually what I do in this channel. But I literally, like, just went on my Facebook to see, like, if my grandparents uploaded any more pictures of their trip. Or um, if any of my friends that are having babies put any updates up. And, like, that's just... I was just blasted with the political stuff and the YouTube drama. And I just was like, I'm so done. So anyway, I needed to rant about it to get that out of my system. And now we'll go about our day. Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys what we did with the room. The floor needs mopped really bad because Haley like spilled a bunch of stuff all over it. Um, like milk and stuff all over the room. But anyway, we used to have the playpen over here. If you are familiar with our setup. We just had a playpen over here and it was a playpen that my mom got us and uh, it was just being like, crap was just being thrown in it. So like even this table was in it. Some of these toys were in it. We had decorations. It was like a holding place for like when we needed to get something up off the floor and put it somewhere. It just like went right into the playpen. So anyway, today I cleaned out the playpen and I organized all of that stuff and I put it all in its right areas. And then I folded the playpen up and it is now in storage. And so I got the table out, so we've got like a little sitting area. They've got a couple of toys bye -bye. over there. Bye-bye. And then they've got their normal like storage area. And then this, all the toys that are now in this court were over there. So now they've got like all this extra space to do stuff. They seem to really like it. Like this baby doll in the bathtub was in there. So like they've kind of gotten quote unquote new toys. It was almost like a toy rotation that we did. Kaylee. Um, because there was a bunch of toys that were in there that they hadn't played with in a while. So we basically just used it as a toy rotation, but they've been pretty happy about it so far. Do you like the room? Yeah, mommy got rid of the playpen? Yeah, I know you have more space to play, don't you? Yeah, it's yes. daddy's birthday. What do you want to surprise daddy with? You want to make a cake for daddy? Yeah. Why do you want to make daddy a cake? You want to make a cake for Dada? Yeah, but why? You want to eat cake with Daddy? Yeah. So that means we have to make him a cake. And you wanted to sing him happy birthday? 
Did you know it's not Daddy's birthday? We are currently here eating some ice cream. Maddie's doing all right. Kaylee. Daddy, Daddy. Well, we're trying, aren't we? Okay. Is it yummy? Yes. You like ice cream? Yes. Say ice cream. <laughs> Say ice cream. Mickey. You try. You are just. Oh, goodness gracious, you're a mess. Behind me, I have some burgers cooking for Danny. I um, went ahead and put those on. He said he was going to stop on his way home and pick up a burger because he really wants a burger. And I'm like, I'm just going to make one because he's going to end up getting some crappy McDonald's burger that's going to make him super sick. And so I'm just making them. It's about 8 o'clock at night right now. We need to go to bed soon, don't we? No. Yes. Yeah, we gotta go to bed soon. No. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's just about bedtime, so I guess I'll show you guys the burger and then we'll end the vlog. <laughs> Here are his burgers. There's nothing super special about them. He just wanted like a regular burger, and these are like jalapeno chips, essentially, like um, kind of like how you can get onion, like onion straws and stuff, they're jalapeno versions, and then there's tomatoes underneath, I don't know, you can kind of see one there, and cheese, and that's basically it, nothing super exciting. I did make like the patties myself from ground beef, so. Ah! Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wave. Kaylee's now eating a banana, so the dogs are over there. But can you wave bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, say have a good night. Thumbs up. Good job. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.